Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Brittany, guys. Another video. Guys, this is today's video. We're going to give you guys the 10 steps to how to become a better shotgun player in Fortnite. Now, guys, using the shotgun is huge in Fortnite. If you are actually really good with the shotgun, you can actually go pro just being good at the shotgun. I mean, look at Daquan. Daquan is... His shotgun shot's amazing. I mean, he's also good at building and all this other stuff. But his shotgun shot, that's what he's known for is his shotgun's ability. And that's basically what we're going to do is cover... 10 steps to how to become better with the shotgun. Starting off with step number one, guys. A lot of you guys probably already know this, but it is knowing what is the best shotgun to use. So if you guys don't know, there are different shotguns in the game. There are different colors and all that stuff. Some people don't know what it means yet, and they don't know. This is this is basically step one. It's basically for beginners. A lot of you guys know this part, so skip step one. Ignore this part. But basically, the pump shotgun, the gray pump shotgun, is better than every single shotgun until you get to about the blue tactical shotgun. Now, when you get the green pump, that's better than every shotgun, except when you get to the purple shotgun, the purple tactical, that's when they about even out uh, with damage. So if you see a green tactical shotgun laying on the ground, don't drop your green pump or your gray pump for the green tactical, because the gray pump will still do more damage than the green tack, and it is still a better shotgun to use. Now, if you prefer the tacks, stick with the tacks, but if you want to get good with the pumps, I'm telling you now, if you're actually good with the pumps, you can become a top dominant player. So get good with it, practice with it, and learn to adjust with it. Now, step number Two. Now that the double pump has been nerfed and people aren't really using it at all in the game, there's basically another double pump method that everyone's using and basically a lot of the people are using this method. What they're doing is they're running a pump as their main shotgun and then they have a tactical shotgun as their secondary. So once they get the shot or if they miss their shot, they can switch to their attack and shoot with that gun. They switch to that shotgun instead of using the pump the whole time. Now the reason they do this is because, again, like I said, the double pump is gone and shotguns are very good in this game when it comes to up close fights. So anytime you're up close with somebody, having a shotgun, you're definitely going to dominate them over them having an AR, if you know what I'm saying. So that's why it's good and important to have a shotgun, but if you have the pump and you don't finish the kill it takes way too long to pump the shotgun and you'll probably die in the time so that's why a lot of people are actually running the tactical shotgun as a, another equipment and they're just switching from the pump to the tack shotgun it's kind of like double pumping but it's not the double pump shotgun it's just double shotgun now for step number three if you guys want to become better with shotguns and you're running the pump or actually any gun you want to go for headshots i know it's a little bit harder to hit a headshot because you got to be looking up on the person and the hit radius on a headshot's a lot smaller than going for a body shot but when it comes to critical moments and stuff like that you want to get that critical headshot so that way they can just get one pumped or one tacked in the face and go down so you're not worried about that because if you guys both shoot each other if you shoot first and then he shoots he's gonna get his shot off and he's gonna end up taking out some of your health because you didn't one shot him it's just it's very important to one shot people in this game when it comes to the shotgun fight so aim for the head i know it's gonna be hard to get used to it but if you guys watch in this clip every single time i pump these kids i was aiming for the head got one that's it i heard Next up, we have step number four, guys. This is a huge step. You guys got to actually listen to this and do this because this is how you're going to hit 80% of your shots. I mean, you really got to be good at this in order to be really good with the shotgun. So what it is, is let your motion hit the shot. So basically, instead of aiming with your right thumbstick to switch between people uh, to hit them with your right thumbstick by looking right or left, have your guys stand still and then just jump. Jump in a certain direction knowing that eventually your hit markers or your, your cursor where your shots are, it's going to land on the person and then that's when you're going to pull the trigger. Like you guys can see in this clip, I don't do anything with my right thumbstick. I literally, you guys can see, I don't move right or left. I just jump and let my character's center point touch the person. And the second I see it touch, that's when I pull the trigger. Step number four was a big step that I want you guys to actually practice and work on because that can really change your shotgun game by a lot once you perfect that. But besides that, let's get into step number five, which is your sensitivity. I know a lot of people want to play on a high sensitivity because you can build a lot quicker when you play on a high sensitivity, no doubt about that. But the one problem is when you have a high sensitivity is you cannot hit your shotgun shots because a lot of your shotgun shots are hip fires. So you're moving right or left with your hip fire shots to hit your shotgun shots. And if your sensitivity is too high, you're going to be whiffing your shots and you're just going to miss the person completely. So I suggest playing on like four to five sensitivity. If you can control higher than that, work with it. But if if you notice that you're missing a lot of your shotgun shots and you're just whiffing it and you're, you're not getting close to hitting the person, it's probably because your sensitivity is too high. Just lower it. It's fine to play on like 4 4. I think Nick Merck's play on plays on a really low sensitivity. So, and he hits all his shots and he's a top tier player in the game on console. So, don't feel bad if you play on a lower sensitivity. You can make it work as long as you're hitting your shots. That's all that matters. Step number six is getting high ground. I know a lot of people want to sh fight their shotgun fights ground to ground, but if you have high ground advantage on someone in a shotgun battle, you're definitely going to have the advantage on that person because one, they have to look up and they don't know where you are because they can't see you because the floorboard is covered 
covering you. But if you're up high, you can third person peek them to see where they are and then line up your shot and then take the shot. So it's a lot better to have a high ground advantage, one, because the other person's either A, looking up at you and not knowing where you are, or B, they're trying to build up to you so you have that chance while they have their building material out to take the shotgun shots on them. So that's why I get a high ground advantage and it, it'll definitely help out a lot. Step number seven is knowing when to use it. There's been plenty of times, and I know you guys have seen this too, where you rush somebody and they're literally standing 40 feet away from you with their shotgun out trying to shoot you. And you're just like, wait, what are they doing? What are they thinking? I've run into kids like that all the time. So you gotta know when to use your shotgun and when to use your AR. If they're any distance farther than like 20 feet away from you, do not use your shotgun. If you have a pump shotgun, it does reach a little bit farther than a normal shotgun. But if you see they're a little bit farther, just switch to your AR and use your AR or build up closer to them. And then that way you can use your shotgun. But don't be shooting them from a mile away with a shotgun thinking it's gonna do something. Cause the farther back they are, the less damage you're gonna do to that person. Step number eight guys is calming your nerves. This is the biggest one. It's hard to do. There's no really tip on how to do this, but I know when you're playing the game, you sit there and you're freaking out in shotgun fights. No other gunfight do you freak out like a shotgun fight gunfight. Those are when your blood's like, oh my God, crap, crap, this is intense, this is intense. Those are the most intense fights in the game because it's up close and you can easily die by a shotgun. So when I say calming your nerves, you gotta literally sit there, take a deep breath, know that you're a good player, know that you're gonna win that fight and just keep that mindset that knowing, hey, I'm gonna win this fight. This kid's probably bad, it's all right. Just, you gotta work on this on your own. This really takes practice within yourself. It's okay to be nervous. Even the best players get nervous when they get into shotgun fights. Guys, even when I'm in a shotgun fight, my heart is racing. I'm like, oh crap, this is scary. But you gotta just calm down and focus. Focus up on the gameplay. Do not sit there and freak out. Just concentrate, man. Step number nine is zooming in your shot. So basically, I know I said you have to hit fire a lot of your shotgun fights, but this is not true. If you wanna actually hit your shots, you're gonna wanna do a quick zoom in, kind of like a quick scope with the shotgun. It's gonna be a quick zoom in and then take your shotgun shot. Now this one, it focuses more on one target. So if you hit that person with that shot, it's gonna do a lot more damage than a normal hit fire shot. And two, if it's a headshot, of course, it'll be more critical than just a normal hit fire headshot that does barely any damage because the, the center point is a lot smaller. So if you're more centered on it, there's more of that target in your, in your crosshair. So you're gonna definitely hit the shot. This is what it looks like on screen now. Okay. Uh, all the way to the bottom. Got one. So yeah, as you guys can see, it is a instantly quick zoom in then shot, then you can do whatever you want, but it does a lot more damage. Now step number 10 is the last step. It's practice, practice, practice. You guys will never get good with the shotgun unless you actually push yourself out of your comfort zone. So basically if you see a base or you see a team of people, don't sit there with an AR and shoot them from a distance because anyone can get a kill like that. If you want to actually truly get better with the shotgun, push them with your actual shotgun and try and see if you can kill them with your shotgun because one, it'll make you better and two, building, it'll definitely help out on building. Those are the 10 steps to become a shotgun pro in the game basically. If you actually master all these 10 steps, you're going to become one of the top dominant players in the game so guys go out practice these tips again i'll cover it real quick knowing what is the best shotgun in the game the double pump which is having two shotguns in your inventory pump headshots basically any shotgun shot goes to the head if you aim for the head more you will instantly critical hit somebody and kill them instantly which is good let your motion hit so let your left thumb stick actually control where you take the shot at uh your sensitivity don't have it too high if you're missing a lot of your shots it's probably because your sensitivity is too high getting high ground is the next one it's very important to have high ground so you're looking down at them rather than looking up thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.